that doesn't mean much. We've had a few shocks, not just this week, last week in Finland as well. Been a year of shocks, actually, pretty much, on the badminton tour. Here's how the women's singles draw is panning out. We're going to see that Marin Taizu Ying match after this, incidentally. But as you can see, neither Sindhu nor Katong are seeded. So Marin and or, or, or Taizu Ying, if whoever gets through, fancy a path to Sunday's final. Top half is an all Chinese affair. From India, Kusala Sindhu. Right, 12 in the world now. PV Sindhu. And Katong will follow on behind. My name's Trevor Harris. Delighted to have Steen Pedersen in the booth here on quarter-final day. Sindhu yesterday, absolutely astonishing comeback to beat Gregoria Tunjung. And when you see something like that, you start to wonder whether it might be her tournament. Yeah, I should definitely think the playing conditions will, will suit her because... Um, uh, the arena here seems to be playing um, quite on the slow side. 14, At least uh, from second round and uh, onwards. <laughs> 3 2 okay, on the head to head or red in like Sindhu's favour, although. The tie won their last match, as you can see there. That was in the uh, India the Open, so it was in uh, Sindhu's backyard, so to speak, back in January in just 45 minutes. If you weren't watching our coverage yesterday, Sindhu won 13 straight points against Gregoria Tunjung. It's a very unlikely victory. Might just fire her to the latter stages of this event. The uh, world champion from 2019. I thought she looked yesterday's team pretty much back to her best. Maybe not quite, but certainly there were signs of, of the old Sindhu there. Yeah, there were some signs, and, and I, I think she's still on the compact trail following her layoff due to uh, stress fracture last um, June, June 2022. There is that match against Tunjung. And uh, she took three games to get past Kirsty Gilmore in the first round as well. So it hasn't exactly been uh, plain sailing for Vistala, but she's through and she's here in these quarterfinals up against that woman, Supernida Katong. 25 years of age, just inside the uh, world's top 20. That 16 ranking you can see there was only as recently as June. Won the Southeast Asian Games title in May. And she was uh, called up by Thailand national team at just 18 years of age. This year, she's made a semi-final at the India Open and another semi at the Thai Masters. And she won the US Open in Iowa in July. That's her path to this quarter-final. Yet to drop a game. Had a bit of a scare against Nadera. But... Uh, Hasn't been too much of a problem for her to progress up to this point. Man in charge is Fabio Beto of Italy. And he will be uh, ably assisted by Daniel Wolf of Austria, who is the service judge. Ready to play?
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Supanida Katetong, Thailand. And on my left, Husarla Venkata Sindhu, India. Supanida Katetong to serve. Level, play. So the tie gets us underway in this women's singles quarterfinal. And the touch is there right from the start. Service over. One, love. Service over, one, two. Uh, there's a little twist to this match because in the uh, upper right corner, you can see the coach of uh, Supanida Ketong and that is uh, Kim Ji Hyun, Korean born and coach for none other than PV Sindhu when she won her world championship title in uh, Basel. So she would know Sindhu's game inside Three, out. Two. Here she is. Yeah, I've always thought one thing knowing what's coming or what to expect. Another thing, being able to deal with it necessarily, but we'll see what Katong is made of today. Yeah. I think we could be in for a very, very good match because she's technically strong, the left-hander. Four, two. Cinder with the advantage in reach, but I mean, she almost always is, has the advantage in reach. Yeah, Katong is only five foot four, but she's a very clean striker of the shuttle. Drift the previous days uh, coming from the side PV Sindhu is playing towards Kitong. Yeah. That helps the attack a little bit, and uh, it's clever for that uh, Sindhu uh, is uh, looking to attack whenever the possibility. Is there? She played a lot of those cross-court forehands against Tun Jung. Gets such an impressive angle. Yeah. Five. All.
Ooh. Bit of good fortune there for the Indian. Six, five. Change the shuttle, please. Over six, all landed well in. Yeah, that's a couple she's uh, misjudged already. Yeah. Cindy. So we saw the seven. She's six. definitely started out uh, more attacking today. The uh, former world champion. Side of the line, I suspect the attack from uh, Keton. Testing Sindhu's fitness. The tongue having uh, Eight, the former seven. champion moving all around the court. And in the end, pressure paid off with the error. I think they've started out in a really, really good pace here. We saw yesterday Chun Jung trying to move Sindhu a bit. Side to side. And if, um, that's something Katon is going to try and do as well. Service over. Eight all. Play. Six, seven. Nine, eight. commit to that last uh, shot. Ten. Ketong was Eight. almost on her way back before she finished the shot. Played so beautifully until then. Look at that. Yeah. Got to stand your ground and play the best possible shot. They're never a good recipe to be moving in the opposite direction to which you're playing the shuffle. You're going backwards almost. Never balanced over the... Eight, eight, she looks eight, in the mood, doesn't she, today? 11-8 yeah. at uh, the mid-game break. You should look this and you die. 
okay. Everything goes wrong. You cross the prospect. Just blow the prospect. Court let, one. Let 20 seconds. Court one. Huh? 20, 20 seconds. Just sit on the stage. Come on. Eleven eight. Play. Well, a little fortunate in the net call, but even so, she's shown us some great hands on a couple of those little net battles, Cindy, this morning. Yeah. She's uh, had the upper hand at the net so far, PV Sindhu. Very animated coaching from Kim ji Hyun in the uh, interval there, but that's her style. Service over, 9, 12. Few well, errors creeping into uh, Katam's game at the moment, and I think partly because she's been put under pressure by Sindhu, who looks yeah. in very decent touch so far. And that's played long into the court, that drop shot from Sindhu there, making it uh, more difficult for Katong to uh, play accurate at the net. Now, look at that, that was much closer. And uh, then she can use her great technical skills. 13. Seems like she's, she gets a little bit too greedy on those uh, 40, shots on the front 10. court. Uh, Supernida Keton. No need to play them as uh, winners, which I think she's actually trying to, or at least trying to get a position even better on uh, the shots. But uh, at the moment, the risk rate is a little bit too high. It's also the uh, aggressive style of um, Sindhu here in the opening. Oh, that's a so great deception. 11, 15. With the smashes and the speed of movement that has uh, sort of put that pressure on uh, Ketong. Totally wrong footed her opponent there, did the left hander. Again, that cross-court forehand from Sindhu, 16, proving 11. a very valuable point winner in this opening game. As, uh, so far, Sindhu has played really brilliant. Very, very few errors. Well, that's a great shot from Hatong. Service over, 12-16. Edging towards the over, winning line in this opening 12. game then, Sindhu. It is now 17-12, just to let you know, there we go. A 
excellent play. I seem to. 18, 12. Not a whole lot of openings left for Kitsong on the court. Sindhu covering the front court very well. The other thing is Sindhu's moving really well. Yes. Because there's always that thing when you come back after a, a serious injury, whether there's going to be a permanent so weakness there, and she's. I've uh, rarely seen her move as well as she's moved today. Yeah. And before you get your match fitness back, before you get your confidence back, uh, it can take time. Fourteen, nineteen. Longer, 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 ready. Usala is into challenges, called out. Mm. Not sure she's going to have any joy with this, to be honest. No, that looked quite a bit wide to me as well. Might just want the, uh, the breather. Hatha Tong's going to be within four points at the moment. There's a challenge on uh, the adjacent court as well, so that's why it's taking a little bit longer. There it is. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 15, 19, play. I like that play from uh, Ketong. The flat drives along 16, the sidelines. 90. Very hard for Sindhu to uh, intercept. Get ready. Well, that was a weak one, and now she's back in this. It looked like uh, Sindhu had it in full control, but not anymore. <laughs> Kim Ji Hyun shouting, keep going, keep going. I mean, what's the alternative? <laughs> Have you seen a player stop at 17, 19? <laughs> Sometimes it's the way of coping with the coach's own nerve. Coverage. Oi. Just giving an extra chance. Kitong. Cindy should have put that away. And that's going to be out. It's called out. Yeah, she's challenge. got a challenge, but I, I'm not sure she's going to win it. Uh, I think she's got a better chance than the uh, previous one. That wouldn't be hard. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, let's see what Hawkeye says. Whether she was doing the, piss, the fist pump because she didn't think the uh, line judge was going to signal, or whether it's because she's, she thought she saw it was on the line herself. I, I don't think she saw it on the line. Yeah, let's see. OK. OK. Correction in. So, game points here. Service over. For the 28-year-old. 20. Game point. 17. Play. Hey! 
great play. I think she was hoping there, wasn't she? Rather than kind of confident that was going to go out. 20. She's thinking it's a good thing she had a challenge left on that previous point. Yeah. 18, 20. Still two chances then. Flashes or shuttle? Yes. If you ask the shuttle right after the rally, don't take time, okay? Yeah, right after the rally. Can I see the shuttle? It looks okay. Play on. Play on. I think it's very good that the umpires have enforced this. Got asked early for a shuttle change. Right. Mm, Bit between the teeth now. Get on. 20. Change it. As soon as uh, Sindhu goes into kind of containing mode, as you might call it, yeah. the tongue is going to absolutely pounce all over it. Exactly, she's going to control the rallies, so Cinder's going to take every chance she can to attack. Yeah. Missed it. So she gets there, rather crawling over the line than sprinting across it, but it doesn't matter. It's the first game to PB Sindhu, 21-19. 21 minutes on court, 21 very entertaining minutes, and it's the Indian who has the early lead here. That is the original one starts so slow. Just keep simple over first. If you like to be longer first. Huh? You cross then, she cross then. Body first, then cross then. Let's keep focus again, eh? So I guess, eh? So I can say, just go. Huh? No hurry, huh? no hurry. Huh? If you use point, you should not pull it. Huh? Like it's just think about that. Huh? Okay. One more point. Okay? Good. 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 Fourth one, twenty seconds. Fourth one, twenty seconds. Well, Katon was certainly improving as that first game went on. So, see whether she can make a bright start in this second game. One left by Sindhu there. Love. That's going to be the problem for uh, Ketong. Love. Controlling the uh, shots to the back line of uh, PV Sindhu. So, uh, right now, the advantage with the former world champion, she's playing up against the drift. And that should suit her well. 
That's one of the problems that she's facing. That if she's not in, in a good position, it can be difficult to get the correct length on uh, the clears. And that was way too short. Look at where Ketong's feet are. It's almost mid-court area. And if that's the case, then the smash is suddenly becomes a lot more difficult to handle in the defense. Missed it. Not Super sure Liga that Kato she's uh, going to win this Ball one. It, it just never deviated from straight, did it? It was outside the line. Yeah. So it looked anyway. I think we see a fair share of um, emotional challenges where you Challenge sort of successful. would have liked it to be inside. One. But Challenge it, this is, in my opinion, Sorry, a wasted uh, challenge. Three, one. Play. That's a good leave. She seems to play with a different confidence level, PV Sindhu, One. today. I, I just think she would have got such a massive lift from beating Tun during yesterday under the circumstances when she was virtually down and out. It's almost like she's free rolling here. And what, was, she, um, was she that much behind yesterday? Five, one. But I think the, um, the semi final also last week in, um, in Finland was a great accomplishment. Of course, she would have liked to do better, but playing a lot of matches in the tournaments gives you the feel, the touch you need. Service over. Watch here, watch here. Two, five. Change it. Well, she might have zero challenges left in a minute. Just think there might be a little bit of frustration creeping yeah. in here for the tongue. I didn't really get a good like, look at that one. No, that's fair enough. Correction in. Three. Five. Yeah, ready, pass. Ah, come on. Yeah. Play. Ah. Five. Two. Two. Short again from Sindhu. Whoa, super. Great play. Another one. Four. Well, she's probably been owed that. Five. Sindhu's had a couple of uh, ready, uh, ready, net calls uh, in her favour. Great shot, right on the line. Sindhu just a Five, fraction short. Four. And Katong very quick to take advantage. And when she's so early on the front court, Sindhu, as she's been, she can put some pressure on the back end of Ketong. Flat. Straight down the line. That one. If she'd played it long. Exactly the same as the previous point. Sindhu under pressure, couldn't get enough depth. 
an almost an identical winner down the line from Katong, who's now on the patches in front in this second game now for the first time. Service over, 6 0. Seven, six. This is one of the things that she's going to notice when she re-watches this match. Shots like that. Played with too little margin into the net. I think it's it's the wrong um, strategy to go try and play those close. Oi, miss it. Oh, that's a great shot from Cindy. We've seen too much disguise from her today up till now, have we? But that was terrific. Blade. There's a fierce determination about Sindhu this afternoon. Seen her this fired up for a while. Yeah. But again, the same mistake from uh, Kitong. Too greedy on the top of the tape. Service over, seven, nine. So when I get that close to the net, she's got an excellent touch. Rally this one. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> Amazing play by the left hander. <laughs> Rallies like that deserve a clean winner rather than a, an error to end them, and that was wonderful stuff from Katong. A couple of magnificent pickups there as well before she actually affected the winner. Need a bit great, quicker between the play rallies. from uh, both Eight, players. a little careless, I mean, worked so hard the previous point. We 
reaction. She played it much better than that this time here. More patient on the first one. And then let Sindhu play the first back at the, the net, attempting to play it really, really close. There, Kitong has got the uh, great touch. You could say she was a little bit lucky retrieving the last one there, but um, just shows that there was quality in the uh, spinning net shot. Oh, created the chance and then just couldn't execute. So it's over, 11-9. So two-point lead for Sindhu at the mid-game break. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Thank you, Sindhu. 11-9. Play. Deception. I was just thinking before she missed that how quick Katong is around the court. She scampers around, doesn't she? At a rate of knots. Really giving Sindhu a tough workout, although that was not her best. There's some uh, Olympic qualification implications in this match as well. Sindhu pretty much certain of qualifying for India, but Ketong in a fierce battle with uh, Pompavi Chuchuwong for potentially the uh, second spot for Thailand. Kusalavi Sindhu challenges, called in. Well, it's called in, and Sindhu straight away raised her arm to the sky. Impossible for us to see. We're about as far away as you could be from that back line at that end. It was quite a quick decision to challenge, though, from Sindhu, which makes you think it might be close. Correction. What a good challenge that was. Yeah. And, you know, you can't really blame a, a line judge for that. I'm talking millimetres. Play. That was a long step. Fantastic play by PB Sindhu. This is vintage Sindhu, isn't it? Yeah. 14. Nine. Really high paced. Badminton. He scored all three points following the interval. Fourteen nine.
think she missed it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's the Thai who's actually challenging. It was called out. She's only got one challenge left, right? I'm trying to remember if that no. other Sorry. challenge was in the first in the yeah, first game, wasn't it? Yeah, way out. Way out. Challenge unsuccessful. No challenges remaining. No, she hasn't got any more 15, challenges. Nine. Play. <laughs> Right as well. Just starting to look uh, a little disjointed now. Yeah, she hasn't scored since the interval. And I think That's right, five points in a row since the interval. Yeah. Exactly. And I think the conclusion is that she's made numerous errors on the lines and uh, by going sharp on the net. So the, the cold presence of Sindhu has really um, impacted uh, the selection, shot selection of um, Ketong. And this is this is some of the best we've seen Sindhu play in a while, in my opinion. Eleven, sixteen. Well, remember Sindhu had a, a handy lead towards the end of the first game, and then. Hatong came back at her, and in the end, Sindhu just about hung on. So she won't want to give the uh, tie any further encouragement. Sindhu's net play has been exemplary, hasn't it? Yeah. Service over. The only little glitch was that um, comeback attempt from uh, Keton in uh, the last part of the first game. Yeah. Good deception. Oy, great pursuit. Looks to be 18, strolling towards 11. the semi finals now, Sindhu. 18 11. Fantastic retrieving from Sindhu. Doesn't get to the point in the end, but the effort, the sheer hard work and the skill involved. 12, 19.
Your racket touched the net. Oh, well, that just about over. sums up her day. 20, match point, 12. Well, she had 19-12 in the last game, Sindhu, and uh, only just got over the line. Now she's got eight match points. That's great spotted by Fabio Beto. Very difficult to see even uh, replay. Finishes it in the grand manner. 21-12, it's a real statement of intent from PD Sindhu. Three quarters of an hour on court, and she's been hugely impressive. Only got to one final so far this year. Well, she's going to have a chance Match tomorrow to get to another. 21-19, 21-12. So 21-19, 21-12, 46 minutes. The official match time in that women's quarter final. And we're going to move on to another women's quarter final next. It's going to be Carolina Marin against Tai Su Ying. It looks the match of the day. A warm welcome back to our live coverage of the Denmark Open. And when the order of play was released last night, this match looked to be the pick, certainly in our first session. Carolina Marin, former Olympic champion, three-time world champion against the brilliant Tai Zhu Ying. 